Hello! This video is to show you how to actually completely wipe a hard drive that has Windows on it. Now, and to wipe it securely so that every bit of data is securely removed. Um, now, whilst Windows is running, you cannot really do this because Windows will block you from deleting and wiping its own files. So you actually need to do this from outside. Now there's two things we're going to need for this. One is we're going to create a boot USB, a Windows 10 or 11, depending on whichever operating system you're using. Okay, I've just opened up Windows Chrome. All I did was type in download Windows 10 ISO. Make sure you go to the Microsoft website. Okay, um, you can do this as well. Okay, that's the ad. That's just the regular one. You're trying to get... I've typed ISO, but what I actually want to do is create the media. So we're not going to do an update. We're doing create Windows 10 installation media. This will download the tool. There we go, media creation tool. Open that up. It'll ask you for admin permissions. That's fine. You've downloaded it from the official Microsoft site. It's a nice, happy thing. It'll take a little bit of time to get set up. Whilst this thing is getting set up, I'll go to the other thing that we actually need to do. So type in s delete. Okay. And you can say download if you want. And once again, you're trying to find it from Microsoft itself. Don't go to anything else. I'm not saying they're good or bad. It's what you want to get from the Microsoft itself website. Okay. There we go. Download S delete. Now that's saved on my downloads folder. We'll be transferring that to our boot USB once it's set up back to our thing. We accept the conditions. Okay. Now that we're here, we want to create a installation media. Okay. You have the option if you want to do it as a DVD. ISO file for this purpose it's pointless because we actually need to actually boot up from the USB drive okay now it chooses what the system we're currently running for example we're running English United States if you wanted to change it you just unclick this and change it to English UK or whatever different language if it's 32-bit you're using 32-bit etc all right next USB drive, make sure that's selected. Next, it's got the drives that we want. I know for a fact that my E drive is basically my USB drive. Let's click next. What it will do now is download the entire full Windows 10 um, system it'll then write to your USB memory stick which obviously is a slower system than a hard drive a SSD so it does take time okay give it time let it go through it have a coffee come back we're gonna pause the video for now and then resume once our USB stick is ready okay so here we go it has now finished my USB flash drive. That's all good. So just click finish. And it'll just um, clean up and then it's closed. Now, what you need to do, and this is specific to your own computer. Um, you might be lucky. Just keep the flash drive in your PC, laptop, desktop, whatever. Um, restart it and it might go straight into booting up in the USB. If it doesn't, you will need to find out um, the way to actually change it in your BIOS settings to enable USB boot, okay? Or to select the USB to be the first device that actually starts up your computer, okay? That is the one thing that you will have to find out on your own. Generally, it's quite simple. Um, it's either you press the F1, the F2, or F12 keys. Okay, generally, that's it. Whilst when you pr turn the power on, press F1 or F2, 
F12, something like that. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to do one thing. In my downloads folder, I have the S delete files. What I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy these things onto my USB. Just put it right at the start of the USB. It doesn't really matter, okay? Because your computer will boot up using this USB. Right, okay. So I'm going to close it. Or another option is you basically click on settings. Go to update and security and then go to recovery and then click on advanced startup. Okay, once it starts up, you can click user device. If it's not showing up over here, if it does show up your USB memory stick, click on that and it'll boot into that. If it doesn't, go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and UEFI firmware settings. Restart to firmware. And because we are using a virtual machine environment, okay, it's a limited version. But however, normally in a computer, you will have multiple tabs along the top, and then you can choose an option to actually boot into your USB device. Okay, so you'll have to obviously look at how your own system works. Okay, but generally it'll be a number of tabs at the top that you select and you move across. Okay, we're booting into EFE USB device. Okay, once you're there, basically click next. So basically it's booting up from our USB stick. It's now got to this. Um, we're not doing install now. Okay, we're outside of your main PC's windows and we're now using the windows on the USB stick. Click repair your computer. And let's go to troubleshoot, command prompt. Now, we need to find which drive is the one that we want to actually delete. Now, let's say C drive. Let's see what's on there. So I've typed C colon enter and then DIR. That shows me that yes, because I see my program files there. I know this is actually my drive. It could have been a different letter. For example, you could have typed D, okay? And then DIR. Now, obviously, that does not have my program files on it. It has my sdelete files on it. So we know D drive is the drive that actually is our USB stick. And C drive is our main Windows hard drive or SSD drive. All I now need to do is format, okay? C drive, make sure you do this check, okay? Go through different letters if you want to make sure that you actually find which is the drive that you are deleting, okay? I mean, wiping. So it is format, whoops. F-O-R-M-A-T, and because we saw it was C, I'm going to do forward slash Q, which is quick, okay? Do I want to wipe everything? Yes. Uh, do you want to give a name for it? Um, to be honest with you at this point, not really, so just click that. There we go. So now if I click on C drive, check, it's completely empty. However, we want to use sdelete to now completely wipe it. So now, if we go back to as I had shown you previously, okay, our sdelete files are on our D drive. So type in D, colon, enter. We're now in our D drive. Type DIR. There we go. We've got all our things. All we now need to do is just type s delete and then we can choose the 64.exe all right 
And let's zero it out. So type dash Z. Okay. If you want, you can type dash C, etc. And we need to choose our drive that we're wiping. Now we know our drive that is on our computer is the C drive. Agree to the terms and conditions. And it's there. Um, as for how to run S Elite, we shall be showing in the corner um, how to completely wipe a, or what are the different ways of using the command. So you can have a look at that video. And basically when this is finished, your main C drive, your SSD, your hard drive has been completely emptied, wiped, cleaned. Okay, hopefully this has helped. Thank you very much for watching.